Oh, we had somebody ask us about mechanical friction versus chemical friction. Um, we use chemical friction. All of our competitors rely on mechanical friction. Here's the difference. Mechanical friction, you are changing the surface of the ball with a pad of some kind, an abrasive, and you're creating a peak and a valley. Okay, once that peak and valley wears out, underneath it is no longer the same peaks and valleys. With chemical friction, the bonding of the chemicals, the reactive resin and polyols together, create a peak and valley of itself. That's chemical friction. That, that design of that surface cover is built in inherent through a chemical reaction. All of our balls have that. So when you scrape away the top layer of this ball, the layer underneath it has the same as it was on the top layer. It's like shark's teeth. As the teeth fall out, another one shows up. It's the same scenario with these bowling balls with chemical friction. That helps with the ball lasting longer in the performance stage. Eventually, it'll wear down. You have to resurface it, but then you're back to square one with it. It's the same friction underneath this layer that was under it um, from the previous layer. But it'll last longer for you. You won't get that 30-game burnout that you get from other uh, of our competitors. We, um, we've been using chemical friction for quite a, a long time now. We use some, some mechanical friction on top of it to smooth it to the surface that you want. But once you take that off, you're back to what the factory started out, which is created through the chemical reaction of the polyol and the isocyanate. So we did a study just to prove our point. We took several balls from our competitors. We did a reality, a perception versus reality video. Um, and tested the, game, the balls after 10 games, 20 games, 30 games. What we found that our balls still performed after 30 games and outperformed our competitors after 30 games. So our loss of performance was slower and took longer than the competitor balls. That's because they use mechanical friction. It's created with a grit. And you talk about not being able to duplicate something, try that. Uh, with our chemical friction, what's underneath the surface you have now was the same as it is all the way through the ball. The chemical reaction is what created the friction. It's improved the performance and the longevity and the life of the ball um, throughout the stages of our test. And we just wanted to make sure that we weren't blowing smoke. And we try to do it with uh, fact, not fiction, or friction. <laughs> Drop us a note when you get a chance, and we'll, uh, we'll try to help you out.